Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get all of these modded outfits here. And also, if you are new here, make sure you go down below and subscribe and also turn on post notifications so you don't miss a future upload. And I am also going to ask for one quick favour and that is can you go down below and hit that like button as we are going to try and aim for about 600 likes in the first 24 hours of this video so that will be much appreciated. Anyway, shout out to these people on screen now for commenting hashtag TJRH on my last video. Also, if you guys are in need of money in GTA 5, be sure to check out Digizani as they do offer cheap, fast and reliable cash and rank services. So if you want this, check out the link in the description and also don't forget to use my code TJRH for 5% off your order. Anyway, with all that being said, let's just get straight into the video. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come to any clothing store on the map and you also want to put the required amount of money inside of your bank. Now from here what you want to do is you want to equip the outfit you would like to keep as it does delete all your saved outfits. And once you have equipped the outfit you would like to keep you can either delete all your saved outfits yourself or by doing a glitch they do get deleted anyway. Now from here just open your pause menu and go to online swap character. And also for this glitch to work you will need your main character to be in the first slot and it will also need to be a male or else this glitch will not work for you. And I'll just make a new female character in the right slot. And if you do get this alert you just want to accept it. Now in this menu make sure it is a female then hit save and continue and name it anything and once you do take this picture you will load into a public session. And once you have loaded in, you want to enable passive mode, and this is so no one can mess you up whilst you are doing the glitch. Now just open your pause menu and go onto the map to see if you have any clothing stores, and if you do, just go to one, but if you do not, find a new session, and they should appear. Now once you have made it to a clothing store, just head straight inside, and you want to go to the accessories menu at the back. Now you want to remove any accessories that do come with this outfit. And most standard outfits do come with earrings, so just make sure you take those off. And if you do see any other accessories, just make sure you take those off as well. Now, I will actually skip to when I have made all the outfits, and I'll show you then, because I do not want to make this video too long, but don't worry, I will go in depth on what to equip. Now, this first outfit is going to be the Galaxy one with the checkerboard pants, and it does consist of two outfits on the female, as you can see. And also, make sure you, when you go and save these, you name them what I name them, so Galaxy 1 and Galaxy 2. So for this outfit first, come to the accessories menu and go onto gloves and equip number 4. So this should be the light woodland tactical and once you have equipped those, go to the shoe section. Now on shoes, go down to high heel boots and you want to equip, uh, equip these ones, the deluxe midnight combat. And once you have equipped those, go to the uh, pants section. Now on the pants menu, go onto jeans and you want to equip these ones, uh, this should be called the black cropped jeans. Then once you have equipped those go onto the top section and go down to leather bomber jackets and on this you want to equip number 6 the gold SN leather closed. So once you have equipped this you want to go to the hat section. Now go down to canvas hats and you want to equip this one number 78 so second to last. And this is for the checkerboard hat so if you do not want the checkerboard hat you don't have to equip this one. And now you want to go to the glasses section and go onto casual glasses and equip the copper marbles which should be number 22 and these are also for checkable glasses so if you don't want them you don't have to equip them and i'll save this outfit to slot 2 and name it galaxy 1 now for galaxy 2 just go to the top section and on tops go down to work jackets and on work jackets equip the peach camo closed field so it should be this one and once you have equipped this, go down to gun running t-shirts. And just equip the last one, the blue digital t-shirt. So once you have equipped that, you want to go to the front desk. And you want to save this outfit to slot 3. And name it Galaxy 2. And also make sure you are saving these in order. So it won't confuse you later. So these are the only two outfits for the first Galaxy one. Well, the only Galaxy one. So just make sure you have them the same as mine. And now we're going to be doing the Juggernaut one, so this one consists of three different outfits. So for the first one, just keep the same gloves on, and you want to go to the shoe section. So keep the light wooden tactical gloves on, and go to shoes, 
and you want to go onto sneakers and equip the pink plain high tops and now that you have equipped these you want to go over to the pants section Now once you're on this menu, go down to sports pants and equip the first ones, which should be called the spotted muscle pants. And anyway, once you have equipped those, you want to go to the top section. Now once you're on tops, go down to leather jackets and you want to equip number 32, which should be the blue JC jacket. And once you have equipped the, uh, that one, you want to go down to bikinis. And now just equip the first one. So this literally the first bikini and once you have equipped this go to the front desk and save this outfit Now you want to save this outfit to slot 4 and name it something like juggernaut 1 or you can shorten it like I did if you want to Now for the second juggernaut outfit just go over to the shoes and just keep the pants and gloves the same and on shoes go down to high heels and just equip the beige pattern heels then once you have equipped these you want to go to the top section now once you're on tops go down to biker cuts and you want to equip number 50 which should be the patch darted vest and once you've equipped that one back out and go down to tucked t-shirts and on tucked t-shirts equip number 5 yeah so this white one and once you've equipped this go to the front desk and you want to save this outfit and just save this outfit to slot 5 and name it something like Juggernaut 2 or shorten it like I did. Now for the third Juggernaut outfit you just want to go back over to shoes. And on shoes you want to go down to sneakers and equip the second one so the pink plain high tops. And once you have equipped those go onto the top section. And also keep the pants and gloves the same. Uh, but anyway on tops you want to go down to a tactical jacket and equip the last one yeah so it should be this one and once you have equipped this you want to go down to gun running t-shirts and on gun running t-shirts just equip number 13 yeah so it should be this one and once you've equipped this go to the front desk and you just want to save this outfit so just save this one to slot 6 and name it something like juggernaut uh, 3 or shorten it like I do so that is all of the three outfits we need for the Juggernaut done. And now moving on to the Gorka outfit. So now the Gorka Joggers outfit with the trash vest also consists of three different outfits on the female. So for the first one you want to go to the glove section uh, which is just over at the accessories menu. So just go down to gloves and equip the black woolen gloves yeah so it should be these ones and once you've equipped those head over to the shoe section and on shoes go onto boots and you want to equip these ones the red cowboy boots yeah so it should be these ones and once you've equipped these you want to go to the top section and also keep the same pants on so keep the spotted muscle pants and anyway on the top section you want to go down to tank tops and on tank tops equip number 94 uh, which should be the two-tone tank so number 94 and once you have equipped this one go up to leather jackets now on leather jackets equip number 32 so the blue jc jacket and once you have equipped this go to the front desk and save this outfit now just save this outfit to slot 7 and you can either name it gorka 1 or gorka and in brackets put race Anyway, for the second Gorka outfit, you just want to go to accessories and go onto gloves. So go onto this menu, go down to gloves and equip number 4, the light woodland tactical. And once you have equipped these, just turn around and go onto the top section, which is just behind you. So just go onto tops and go down to tucked t-shirts. And on this you just want to equip the black classic which should be number 11. Now once you have equipped this go up to denim jackets. And on denim jackets equip number 9 and then just go to save this outfit at the front desk. And 
and you want to save this outfit to slot 8 and name it Gorka 2. Now for the third Gorka outfit you want to go to tops and you want to go down to party tank tops and on party tank tops you want to equip the first one which should be called the leopard loose tank and once you have equipped this one go back on to tops and go to tactical jackets and on tactical jackets equip the final one and once you have equipped this just go to the front desk and save this outfit and you want to save it to slot 9 and call it Gorka 3 So now for the CEO vest outfit, which is a black tryhard outfit I usually wear in my videos. So uh, what you want to do for this one, uh, so for the first one for this, you want to go to the accessories menu. And on accessories, go down to gloves. And you want to equip the black woolen gloves. And after you have equipped these, go, to, go over to the pants section. And also this CEO vest outfit only consists of two outfits on the female. So we've got this outfit here and one more after. And that is all the outfits done. Now on this menu on the pants section, you want to go to utility pants and equip the second to last ones, which should be called the black battle pants. And now go on to tops and go down to bust ears. And on bust ears, equip the white lace bust ear. So it should be this one. Uh, you can't see it now because I have heavy armor over it, but just equip the white lace bust ear. Then go down to sports jackets and equip uh, number 101 which is a blue puffer jacket. Now this part here is super important and allows the CEO vest to go onto this outfit. So what you want to do is you want to go to uh, inventory and you want to go to show body armor and set it to heavy armor. So it should be this green armor. And now what you want to do is you want to go save this outfit to, uh, at the front desk and just save it to slot 10. So name it something like try hard one or whatever you want to name it, but make sure you put one at the end just so you uh, put it in order so it doesn't confuse you later. So now for the second outfit for this tryhard outfit you want to go to uh, the pants section and go to sports pants and equip the first ones. So the spotted muscle pants and once you have equipped these go to the shoe section And on shoes, go onto boots and equip the red cowboy boots. So once you've equipped these, uh, the heavy armor usually does come off, so you will need to re-equip it by going into your inventory and show body armor, heavy armor. So make sure you do that or else uh, you won't have the CEO vest on this outfit. So what you want to do now is go and save it at the front desk. So you want to save this to slot 11 and name it something like try hard 2. Or the same name as the last one, but with a 2. So once you've saved that, you should now have a tryhard 1 and 2. Uh, unless you named it something different, but it should be 1 and 2. So now for one final check, just make sure all your outfits are the same as my ones. So just go through each outfit and check the components are the same. And now is the perfect time if you want to, to like the video as uh, I do appreciate it as it does help. To let me know if you guys do still like these multiple modded outfit videos. And it also helps push my video out there, so... It will be much appreciated if you could do that. But anyway, once you have checked the outfits are the same, you just want to uh, open your interaction menu and take the easy way out. Now, once you do spawn out on foot, just open your pause menu and you want to go to online and start up creator. Now once you're on this menu, just make a new land race. Now just fill in the details so the title, description and photo, they can be anything and they do not matter. Now this part here does matter, you want to set maximum players to a 3 and also set the route type to point to point. And also if you want to, you can set your vehicle to a supercar just to make this process a little bit quicker. Now from here, you just want to teleport to the airport. Now just place this trigger anywhere, it doesn't really matter. 
and take a photo of anything for the lobby camera. And once you've done that, just place checkpoints until the race is at least one mile long, as if it isn't, it won't allow you to test it. So once you have done that, just test the race. So once you've completed it, you should get this alert. And you just want to accept this alert. And once you do load in back into creator, just open your pause menu, go to online and go on to choose character. Now just delete your female character. Now this part here is important and instead of going to online you want to go straight into story mode. So that's B for Xbox or Circle for PS4. So once you load in just open your pause menu and start up a new online invite only session. So once you load in, just go and save the outfit you chose to keep to slot 20, so just save it to the last slot. And now to get the first outfit, which is going to be the Galaxy Checkerboard one, you want to go into Standard Outfits and equip the Effortless. And once you've equipped the Effortless, uh, you want to remove any accessories on it. Now just go into Tops. And on top, you want to go down to racing jerseys. Now, depending on which gloves you want on the outfit, just equip any racing jersey. So I'm going to be getting these pink and white ones, so I'm going to equip this one. Now, once you have equipped the racing jersey of your choice, so this one I think goes best with the outfit. So uh, once you've equipped one, go to jobs, play jobs, go to verses, and you want to start up crooked cop. And you will start to get to know this and get familiar with this because we're going to be doing it a lot more in this video. So by doing Crooked Cop, it's more or less how you're actually going to get the outfit. So basically, you'll also need a earpiece uh, for when you're in Crooked Cop, so you can purchase one from Ammunition. But anyway, once you're in the Crooked Cop menu, just set the clothing to player owned and invite anyone and start it up. Now, once you're on this menu, go down to Owned Outfit and scroll 2 to the right, so to over to Galaxy 2 and what you want to do now is just ready up. Anyway once you load into Crooked Cop just equip your earpiece and this makes it so you keep the outfit on when you end up quitting the job and you can either quit the job now but you won't be close to the clothing store so what I do is I drive to the clothing store in the mission which you can follow the way I go and then when you quit the job you'll spawn closer and from here check your earpiece is still equipped and once you've checked it is just quit the job by using your phone now just go to the clothing store and what you want to do is you want to yeah, you can either remove your earpiece, or if you want to keep it on, it doesn't really matter. And now go to save it at the front desk. Now you want to save it to the last possible slot, so number 19, just above your outfit that you saved earlier. Now this next part here is important, and you're going to have to do it after making every outfit. And that is you need to delete the two outfits you used to make this in Crooked Cop, so delete Galaxy 1 and 2. And now for the Juggernaut outfit, what you want to do is you want to go to Standard Outfits and equip the first one. And once you equip this first one, you want to remove any accessories, so for example the sunglasses. And once you have done that, you want to go to the Pants section. So just head over here to the Pants section and go down to Utility Pants and you want to equip the last ones. So the Black Heist Pants. Anyway, once you have equipped these, once again, we are going to be going into Crooked Cop, so Jobs, Play Jobs, Versus, and go down to Crooked Cop.
and once you're in this menu, every time you set the clothing to player owned and invite anyone to start it up. Now on this menu, go down to owned outfit and scroll one to the right. This is so we can get the race suit and this is for the biker gloves in a moment. So what you want to do now is just ready up. Now when we load in, do the usual, so equip your earpiece and drive down to the clothing store in the mission. Now check your earpiece is still equipped and just quit the job by using your phone. Now go to a clothing store and if you want to, you can take off your earpiece, but if you don't want to, that's fine. And now go over to the glove section. Now on gloves, just equip the race suit gloves and it should let you equip them. So it's just up here. Yeah, these ones. And once you have equipped these, make sure you do this next bit and delete the first juggernaut outfit. Yeah, so once you have done that, go back into Crooked Cop. Now, like every time, just set the clothing to player owned and invite anyone to start it up. Now, in this menu, go down to owned outfit and scroll 2 to the right. Then just ready up. Now, just equip your earpiece and then go to the clothing store in the mission. Now just check your earpiece is still equipped and then exit the job by using your phone. Now come to a clothing store and once again either remove your earpiece or keep it on, either way it doesn't matter. And just go to the front desk and save this outfit. And you want to save it to slot 18, so the last possible slot. Now once you have saved this Juggernaut outfit, you want to delete the outfits you used to make this one. So Juggernaut 2 and 3. And we deleted the first one earlier. Anyway, for the Gorka outfit, you want to go to Gorka Suits. And you actually can equip any Gorka suit you want, depending on which Gorka joggers you want. But I'm going to be using the Ash Gorka suit because uh, it's just the one I'm going to be using. Yeah, so once you've equipped the Gorka suit, you want to go into Crooked Cop. Now just set the clothing to player owned, then invite anyone and start it up. Now once you load into this menu, go down to owned outfit and scroll one to the right. Now just ready up. Now just equip your earpiece, then go to the clothing store in the mission. And from here, check your earpiece is still equipped, and if it is, uh, just quit your job by using your phone. Now just come to a clothing store and go over to the accessories menu. And you want to go onto gloves. So go on this menu, go onto gloves, and you want to equip the race suit gloves. Now this part here is important, so once you have equipped those gloves, just delete the outfit you you just used to make this one. So the Gorka race. Yeah, so once you have done that, just open your pause menu and go to jobs and start up Crooked Cop. Now from here, set the clothing to player owned and invite anyone. Now in this menu, go down to owned outfit and scroll two to the right and then just ready up. Yeah, so once you do load in, just do the usual, so equip your earpiece, and then go to the clothing store.
And now once you're here, just check your earpiece is still equipped and just quit the job by using your phone. And from here, go to a clothing store and if you want to, remove your earpiece or just keep it on, then go to the front desk and save this outfit. And you want to save it to the last possible slot, so just above the other one. So just save it to slot 17. Now you just want to delete the outfit you used to make this one, so delete the Gorka outfit. And now for the final outfit, which is a CEO vest tryhard outfit, you're going to need a CEO vest outfit, so you can get this from the CEO uh, glitch, which only takes about 3 or 4 minutes. However, I'm not going to bother showing in this video, otherwise it will just make this video way too long, so I'll just skip to when I have it, but you can look at some of my older videos on how to get it, so I have it in my top 5 clothing glitch videos. Or in fact, watch the video before this, as it is one of the glitches in that video. And by the way, you do have all the time in the world to get the CEO vest outfit, as the other outfits are not going to disappear. So once you do have the CEO vest outfit, you don't have to save it, but you can if you want to. Uh, but just don't save it in front of your tryhard 1 and tryhard 2. So now you just want to go into Crooked Cop. And once you're in Crooked Cop, set a clothing to player owned and invite anyone. And once you're on this menu, go down to owned outfit and scroll 2 to the right. And you should get the same outfit as I do. And from here, just ready up. Now, once you load in, just equip your earpiece and then drive down to the clothing store in the mission. Now just check your earpiece is still equipped and then quit the job by using your phone. Now just come to a clothing store and you can either take off your earpiece or just keep it on and then go to the front desk and save this outfit. And also feel free to save this outfit wherever you want to as it is a final outfit so it doesn't matter. And also if you want to, you can delete the two outfits you used to make this one, as you no longer need them, as you've made all of the outfits. Now, I'm not going to show you how to add the helmets and stuff in this video because it's long enough already, uh, but basically just use the telescope glitch to add masks and helmets. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, hopefully you did enjoy the outfits and even the video, and uh, if you did, leave a like down below, and that will honestly be much appreciated, so it also does help out a lot. And I'd also really appreciate it if you could go down below and subscribe as we are trying to get to 50k subscribers, hopefully soon. But yeah, I just want to thank you all for the support and I'll see you in the next one.